Welcome back everybody to your Python tutorial series. In this video I will be talking about a new loop called the while loop. So the while loop will continue to do something until a certain condition is met. So we give it a condition that it has to meet. So let's think of a real world example. Alright, while I'm a loser, I will create videos in my mom's basement. Right? Now, once I become not a loser, I no longer have to create those videos. So, me creating videos is dependent upon me being a loser. So, while I'm a loser, I create videos, but once I'm not a loser, I no longer have to create videos. So, basically, I'll be making videos for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> Alright, hopefully that kind of made things pretty clear, but probably not. Let's, let's try it in Python now. First, let's define a variable. Let's say we have a score, right? Like for a game, like we're making a game or something, and let's let's have the score be uh, zero, okay? And then we create a while loop. So while score is less than 100, and let's just say you need 100 points in order to get like an upgrade. All right, this is a very simple example, but whatever. And then we put a colon, and then we have it do something. Well, we could say. By the way, just again, it doesn't really matter if you use single or double quotes. I've been using them interchangeably all throughout the series. Uh, you should probably do it consistently, but you know, I'm just teaching, so whatever. Once I make a program, I will do that consistently. All right, print, uh, let's say, you do not have enough points. Now, if I, and if I started this program now, well, we'd have a problem because it's going to check the score and it will print you do not have enough points because your score is zero and then it will check the score and it will print you do not have enough points because the score is zero and it's going to do that forever because score does not increase by itself so in order to fix this we have to have score do something so for this example just to make it easy we could say score and we could say score and assign it the value score plus one. So the way this works is it takes the original value of score right here, zero, adds one to it, and then it takes that new number, which would be one in this case, and it takes the whole thing and assigns it to the new variable. So, so let's start, and we'll just explain sort of how this will go through it. It looks at score, actually let's just start from the while. So it tests to see if score is under 100. Well, score is zero, so yes. So it's gonna print, you do not have enough points. And then it's going to give you, you us a free one. So now, it takes the value of score, zero, and replaces it with zero plus one. So now we have one. Then it goes back to the while loop, and it says while score is less than 100. Well, the new value of score is 1, so it's going to print you do not have enough points. Here is a free point. Now it's going to take 1 and replace it with 1 plus 1. And then it's going to be 2. And then it'll say while score is less than 100, it is, you do not have enough points. Here is a free point. So 2 is replaced with 2 plus 1, or 3. And it's going to repeat this forever and ever until score is greater than is, is no longer less than a hundred. So let's try it. You can see it printed out a whole ton of free, mess free point messages. So that is how the while loop works. And just to see it a little bit more clearly how this works, let's try it again. I'll bring this down and I want it to print out score. So that way we can kind of see how it works. Alright, uh, we might need to uh, change the value of score in a second. So, you see nothing happened because score from this one is already at 100. So let's reassign the value 0. Score. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's look at the top. It's going to take a while. Scroll, 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 scroll. Okay, so you do not have enough points. Here is a free point. 
and it tells us our original point value. It'd make more sense if uh, this came first. So you know, let's say, uh, let's bring this down here, and let's say, your score is, then we say percent S, and then we say percent sign, and then we say what variable we want to display, score. So hopefully this works out. I'll probably mess it up or whatever. Let's try it. So now let's try this again. I'm just gonna run this. All right, and uh, real quick, let me reassign the value of score to zero. And then I'll run this again. So now score is at zero. And what we're going to do is we're having a while loop, check it. We're going to print the original score, and then we're going to give us a fr uh, say that we're going to give a free point, and then we give that free point. All right, let's go to the top here. Probably should have done like 10 or something, but you know, that'd be boring. So your score is zero. You do not have enough points. Here is a free point. Your score is one. You do not have enough points. Here's a free point. And it goes on and does this over and 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 over again. Until we reach 99 and then it says you do not have enough points. Here is a free point. That causes our points to go to 100 and then it no longer goes on because we have enough points. So Real quick, I want to look look at this while loop one more time and just uh, get some final thoughts. So I'm going to bring this down here. One thing that is important to realize is the location, uh, what like the location of the addition, the free point, and also the comparison that we're requiring. We're requiring it that, that it's less than 100 in order for you to get the error message that you do not have enough points. So if we put this up here, um, if we put score equals score plus one up here, well now it's going to say score is 99, or score, yeah, here, let's just watch it. We'll show you, I'll show you what I mean. It's going to add one to our score before it prints it out, and therefore it'll say your score is 100, you do not have enough points, which is, is not true. So let me reassign the value of score to zero. So that way we just reset everything. And then let's print this. And you can see it says your score is 100. You do not have enough points. Here is a free point. Now, this is wrong because we end with the same result. Either way, the score ends at 100. The only problem is with that this, uh, this most recent for loop is that it adds, sorry my watch, uh, it adds one before it prints this. So once the while loop is tested and it realizes that score is not 100, it does all of this code. So when we get down to here, you do not have enough points. That points back to this, not this. So we realize that it checks to see if it's under 100. It's currently, let's say it's 99. Yes, it's less than 100. Then it adds 1 to make it 100. And then it tells us our score, 100. And then it says you do not have enough points, even though it would make more sense if we um, put that down here. Score goes score plus 1, and then got rid of it up here. That way, it doesn't tell us our score before. Um, it, it doesn't tell us the score that is already updated. Now it's going to tell us their score before it's updated and it will be more accurate. Sorry about that. So now that is how it works. So yeah, sorry about this super long video. Hopefully it was helpful though. And uh, if you have any questions, just be sure to leave me a comment and also be sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.